Steve, thank you so much for that. City leaders are coming together following the storm. They say they were already monitoring the storms because of the Something in the Water Music Festival. Mm -hmm. So many people in town for that. They also say that this actually helped them get alerts out faster because they already had a command center that was already up and running. So 10 on your side's Amy Avery joins us now with a look at the city's response. Amy. Well, Bianca and Katie, city leaders say they had about 115 damaged structures that were searched last night, but they're still locating more damage. They say they're especially grateful for that quick response to help those impacted and that no injuries were reported. Now, city leaders say they were already monitoring the storms from their mobile command center for something in the water, and they say this actually helped them quickly get alerts out when they realized the storm was getting stronger. City leaders say they were also there were also some representatives from the National Weather Service already in the command center with them, so that helped with tracking the storm. The Virginia Beach Police Department says once the tornado touched down, they immediately de-escalated their command center at the second precinct for something in the water and worked to get resources to the impacted area in case there were injuries. And again, thankfully, no injuries were reported with this storm. Now, the fire department also says they didn't have to save anyone from any collapsed areas or extricate anyone from any of the damage, but they were mostly dealing with gas leaks. City leaders say they're especially proud of the quick response. Our hearts and prayers go out to the folks that were negatively impacted by this tragic thing. But once again, we're grateful that there was no loss of life or injury, but we're especially grateful to all the team. Uh, we couldn't be prouder of Virginia Beach that we are today. You know, we are the community that we are. Now, city leaders say the state of emergency continues as they go through all the stages of recovery and the impact center at Great Neck Rec Center will be open all day if anyone affected by the tornado needs food or a safe place to stay or electricity to charge their phones. They say no one stayed the night last night in the newsroom. Amy Avery 10 on your side.